Hey guys, Spray Pray here, and welcome to the 18th episode of my Let's Play of Victoria 2 as Germany. We are the amazing Germany, guys. What we did last episode was I think we pieced out with the uh, the Qing Empire, by and we took five whole things from them. It's five. These are amazing things. Look at how much stuff they got. We're so so much pop. The only issue that I see is these Jacobin rebels, which is kind of annoying. But they don't have any really rebel. Um, there's 17 million of them. And that's pro that means that there's 6,000 possible brigades, which 6,000 times 3 is... Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> so, um, that's kind of scary. However, that's okay, because uh, they can't capture our capital, which is because it's all the way over there, uh, and the province control is not changing. All right, so yeah, we should, we'd be fine with this if they actually revolted. We just have to kill them or, you know, whatever. And honestly, all they're doing is trying to make us more liberal, which is not the end of the world. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind being more liberal. Our economy is a powerhouse. We're making so much money. I wouldn't mind actually not having to ta pay as much, you know, get as much taxes. It's not the end of the world. Austria, we could release them with this new flag. That's cool that their flag changed. Uh, so... Yeah, so we got to work about work around this, but we do have so much stuff now here. We can still organize Libya, but we're not going to do that just yet, I, just because I don't want to. Uh, an alliance offer from Glasse Lenmardia, sure. Why, did you break our alliance or something? No. Uh, we're probably going to want to check our sh influence here. We only have a f we have very few things in our sphere, just these two right now. So we should be able to fold these guys down pretty easily. Let's, uh, let's knock down the, uh, oh, nobody's really trying to be over here. Oh, Russia's fallen out of great power status, because uh, we've forced them to limit their military and their industry is not, didn't get any good, so. Let's actually invest in them, just because they're probably a good place to invest. Open all their factories for them. Because I'd like to see Russia come back, but, you know, maybe they'd actually be a good ally. If we could get an alliance with them while they're not. Pissed at us? Or, sorry, not uh, great power. That might be a good idea. Anyways, let's go around the board and increase our relations. Because we, we, you know, we just want to be happy with everybody right now. Italy as well. So, Italy's going to be coming back hopefully soon. They've got a pretty big military. UK as well. Let's do UK too. Let's give war subsidies. Because that'll give us some uh, some stuff with them. They're apparently at war with who? They're at war with uh, the Sikh Empire, which is where? Isn't that like up here? Oh, looks like they're probably sphering them or something. So, uh, ooh, Saudi Civil War. Oh, it looks like they're trying to annex each other. Najed is trying to annex Yemen and Halal. Italian Restoration of Dalmatia. Okay. Oh, because they're trying to get their cores back from Greece, or, or Dalmatia, rather. And they're doing the concession. Oh, they're actually trying to take a, a province rather than sphere them. Interesting. I wonder if Vaginagar has cores still. Oh, alliance offer from Denmark. I wonder why we broke our alliance for. Probably, maybe when we changed governments? I don't know. Does Hungary still... No, we still have an alliance with them. They love us, though. We've been best buddies. Build up their railroads for them, too. For Russia. It's a good use of our money. Expand those forts. Expand these navy bases, too, if we can. No, they're already expanded. But these forts can go up a little bit better. Yeah, so we moved a bunch of our troops over here just because we know we're gonna... We might, we might have had to go to war for the... Because uh, we were over the infamy limit for a, a few seconds, but we're good now. Which is nice, actually. It's really nice. Here's three newspapers to read. Usually, I just like to click through these quickly, because apparently it might it somehow some people say that it'll uh, lower lag or reduce lag, so I, I might as well. You know, it doesn't hurt me too much. The first time when we went and did it, it was kind of annoying because we had to go and do like a million of them, but it, it's not so bad. I wonder. Our cores last forever, right? So we have. Plenty of time to go and get this core but back from them, but that'll just be the way that we declare war on them later for maybe a great the first great war we'll do that. I don't know. They keep trying to get us to build like a gazillion hussars over in China, which I don't know if we want to do. Like, are they even that good? Not really. I mean they got some good like everybody's better. Dragoons? 
Better. Hussars, what do they do? They got 10 maneuver, which is pretty good. But, I mean, come on. Look at how many they're trying to make us build. I just don't want to build that many. What's too hard to... Oh, have we actually gotten over here yet? Some of our troops have made it. Not all of them, though. Do we make this... Oh, I, I like how all these guys are Jacobins. Kind of sucks. But, hey, you know what? If they revolt, they revolt. Nothing we can do about it. They're crappy units anyways. I wish we could build more. I, I don't want to build freaking Hussars. I just want to build regular units, but... Whatever, I guess that's all we can... Because it's a colony, probably, technically. It's a colonial province. But whatever, we get the pop from it, so that's what we want, really. It seems that France has decided that... Ooh, a crisis. Oh, it just flopped already. I guess we didn't get... They don't want to ask for our input, huh? Oh. Oh, well. Yeah, so we make so much money right now. Look at that. Just 25, 20 grand just from taxing the poor at, like, what? Our effective tax is 22%. So we just make so much money right now. Uh, apparently they want to do this again. We'll do this because it'll hopefully appease them. So what do they want? I don't really mind doing these things, especially since we're doing so well anyways. A lot of people want socialists allowed. Alright, fine. I wonder why we haven't discovered, like, communism or anything yet. That's kind of weird for it to take this long, but whatever. I wonder how our government changed, because usually there's a lot of conservative. I don't know if they actually count in our people. Yeah, look at that. 55% support conservative once we added all those people, but they're not allowed to vote because they're not in our colony. Yeah, we have universal voting, but sadly, the uh, I don't think that the colonies are allowed to vote. And it's like very small, slim chance that we're ever going to be able to turn those into states, so. Have we even gotten close yet? No, it's actually, it's like halfway there. Kaboom! So we're actually really close to turning a pheasant into a state. Which will be cool, I guess. Because then we won't have to spend points on it, I don't think, anymore. I don't know how it works, really. Let's move these troops there. Is this like a checkpoint place? No. For some reason they just keep going here though. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, it's close to the war effort. Works for me. We had some really good generals over here. His morale is kind of shitty, but look at that. He's got all his other pluses, like speed, experience, man. Some good generals. Why does it want to make why does it want me to make so many freaking hussars? <laughs> and they're all all these guys over there in Asia are gonna be Jacobins. Which are really annoying. Is infantry better than um, regulars? They've gotten 1.9 attack, 2.5 defense. Yes. These guys are way better. What kind of forces do we send over there that are not Jacobin? We've got these guys here, which are pretty balanced, regular armies. But these guys are all Jacobins, right? Oh no, look! They all left the Jacobins, I guess. Does that mean we don't have them organized? Oh, nice, no more Jacobins. Alright, so we don't even have to worry about them being Jacobins, so we might as well get them just to inflate our army score. So let's get a bunch of these guys. And some Hussars, and how about we some get some mobile cav or whatever. We'll just go and spread out all these things. Because the infantry are better, they just cost a little bit more. These guys just cost wood? <laughs> what? Makes no sense. Alright, let's build the rest of infantry now. Alright, and none of these guys should be Jacobin, which is nice, because we don't have any Jacobins at the moment, since we just did a reform for them. Elections are starting. Yay! Great. Alright, well, we're probably going to go liberal, since our voters are really liberal. But that's fine. We'll just have to deal with it. Uh, sure, Italy, you can have military access. My, no problem. Why do you want military access? Oh, you're at war with Dalmatia. Alright, yeah, that, that's cool. We want to be friends. Let's, uh, let's give you war subsidies, too. It's, like, really cheap, so why not? 
And UK still let's improve our relations here. Um, France, you at war or something? No, but we can still improve relations. That's fine. And uh, what about Russia? All right, we need some more points. I guess two points to do improve relations now. All right, that's fine. We're almost done with iron steamers, which is going to be good. Well, I think that gives us. Uh, we'll probably get ironclads and stuff soon. Uh, we don't want anti-military. Let's just uh, move to another barracks again. That's fine. How how long are our troops taking? Well, oh, okay. Here's the first nineteen thousand. Then there's some more over here. Are we fighting? We're not fighting these guys, are we? Okay, good. All right, and this guy's just hanging out. Uh, let's send them back. Or no, let's send them here because it's closer. But look at that, we got a pretty sizable army of recruits down here. I wish we could build real troops here though, it kind of sucks, but you know, they'll help us put down revolts and stuff. How's the flashpoint tension going, by the way? So, I don't see anywhere where it's bad. Maybe, oh, Ireland over here. What do they want? It's the British Liberation Movement, interesting. Oh, it's probably UK. They're like, make this an issue. We're making this a crisis. State capitalism, interventionalism. Yeah. Uh, we shall see. Losing militancy, good. All right, we're we're getting our our infamy down quite a bit. Uh, Greece, good. We can do conquest of them, but that's going to be twenty-two infamy, so we might not want to actually do that. I think the way that we're going to probably go is probably taking Morocco. Good, we finished Iron Steamers. Nice. Um, let's do uh, let's do the uh, the supply range. Yeah, we definitely want that, so we can actually transport troops between here and Asia. Uh, decisive arguments for laissez. We want decisive arguments for interventionalism, please. Get some suppression points, but we don't have any. Um, there's no movements for uh, leaving, so I see no reason not to go for uh, nothing. Ooh. So we lose some windows, reimburse the windows with pensions, or work overtime to replace the boilers. Yeah, let's get the uh, the money thing, and yeah, we'll do that. How are we doing on this canal over here? It's supposed to take eight years. I mean, I don't know how long it's been exactly, but it's been close. It's been a while. Still trying to get us to build stuff in Asia. Naturally, they are right, or... Yeah, let's get this in, in original. All right, um... There we go. We're building a bunch of crappy units in Asia. It kind of sucks. I would love to build real units, but whatever. It's okay. They'll be good. These will these units will do good enough to fight to expand ourselves over here. If we do so choose. I'm kind of deciding, trying to decide. This is going to be the last episode that I record, so um, if you guys want to tell me which one would you rather see me do, would you rather see me try to, um, like, probably could go and do Tunisia. Let's do that. Can we establish how much does it cost? 15, 15 infamy? What? Since when does it take that much infamy? I don't remember it being that much. Oh well, it might, it might not, it's probably not going to be that much, you know, because we only have to, but I guess that's why I didn't notice, because we only have to justify it one time. But we're going to want to wait till that drops down. So, uh, soldier need is his weapon, or pro-military? Yeah, that's 25% pro-military. So we're probably going to want to do Tunisia, maybe? No, uh, can we dismantle the UK yet? I wonder what the uh, requirements for dismantling an empire is. Because, I mean, we can take their colonies one by one, but... I wish Portugal was not in the sphere of the UK. And I wish Spain was not allied with them, either. How's the USA doing over here? Looks like they uh, successfully destroyed uh, anyone. Oh, they're actually in fourth place. Nice. Not anywhere near us, but we're good. We're, we're OP as hell. Uh, two infamy. Uh, we shall encourage the jingoists. Yeah, let's encourage the jingoists. We're going to get two infamy. That's fine, though. And we're going to lose ten more exhaustion. And we get Costa's belly increased. And we get more jingoist. Until 1866. So that's actually not too long for the Costa's belly, but the uh, other things are nice. Relationship between France and Germany changes. And they gain a humiliate causes Billy on us. That's fine. 
I don't think France has any allies that are any of any importance, so it's not like Yeah, they only and they only have 142 military power. Where we have 241, and with Hungary, we're like even better. So let's go for well, neither. Does Italy want an alliance? Oh, they're actually a great power again. So probably not since we're allied with Hungary. Which not may not even be they're gonna probably drop off soon, aren't they? No, Hungary's actually worlds ahead of Italy beating Italy. That's funny. Uh, probably just because they're like they have pretty good industry and stuff. Sweden, hopefully, will. I just hope Hungary gets knocked down. You know, I'd like to see that. Oh, and we're stopping Sweden from forming Scandinavia by holding on to Schleswig, Holstein, and uh, and uh, Denmark as an inner sphere. So that's nice. So we want full citizenship or when we want residency. So we'll just get ten percent limited citizenship. And uh, so yeah, Denmark. Denmark has course. Oh, they don't have any course for. Uh, I, gu I, I guess the uh, usually you have course for um, for Scandinavia always, but I guess now in this mod they changed it so that Sweden has uh, that. They, I guess it'll generate them. Free trade. We don't want free trade. I guess we're doing that. Excellent crop rotation! Hooray! We have no movements, thank God. So all of the troops that we're building in China aren't going to be like trying to leave, liberate themselves or whatever. We're starting to take attrition over here with our hussars and our infantry units. So let's uh split this up a little bit. There we go. Got some nice experience over here, which is cool. Election finished, so... Uh, what's this do? Liberal open closed factories. We can't... Can we subsidize? No. We can prioritize them, though. We can open foreign factory. We can... Invor investors can build foreign railways. Yes, yes. Allow foreign investment. Can we build railways and stuff? We can't build railways. That's okay. The German people have spoken. Liberals declare victory, I guess. Yeah. And we can't change anymore because we changed to HM government. But it's okay because, like, look, we're still making money. So as long as we're making money, I wish that we would be able to subsidize. We can keep opening the factories, though. That's nice, at least. But apparently we can't invest in foreign governments. That sucks. So the Mori clan and the Ido and the Tokugawa shogunate has even- oh. Whoa, look, Imperial Japan. Wow, partially westernized. Interesting. Good for them, I guess. It's weird for Japan to take so long to get, you know, into group. Oh, god. Close all factories on this list? Oh god, that would be terrible. Like, just kill my industry right now. Everyone. Everything. Die. Uh, but since we can't subsidize, we're going to have some issues at first. Hopefully the liberals will get their act together and do what needs to be done. Let's build some navy here. We can build some ironclads, yeah. Alright, we're going to build two. Because I believe these are considered heavy ships. So we're going to build, like, a bunch of them. And then we're going to find our fleet here. Which is all the way down here. And we're going to get rid of a bunch of uh, these commerce raiders. And these mana wars. We don't need these mana wars anymore now. So let's try with just 20, because I'm pretty sure we built a lot of those ironclads. So close, alright, and select this guy and disband these. And that's we're still over. We're gonna be over by 90. Oh Jesus. Um so maybe that was too many. Let's uh Let's cut down on these till it turns the right color. Oh good, Grand Navy, yay, prestige. Alright, we should be getting close. I mean, come on, we only have like 11 ironclads trying to be built. Let's start the construction. Oh, they killed Kalan. Oh, finally. Yeah, we're gonna pay for that. Perfectly fine with me to pay for that. And uh, what are these guys trying to do? How much are we over now? 55? Jesus.
45. All right, so we have how many of these light ships? 22. So I guess we need to just take out as many as we can. All right, fine. We're still over by 35? Jesus. I guess that did it. I hate how these the liberals do this. So stupid. Well, they better... Can we invest in projects, maybe? But they have no projects. It's like, come on, get a project going. <laughs> That's why I want to be in charge. So I can build projects. Or do projects. Alright, so we're done with Navy for right now. I don't really want to do anything else. I think fire control... Maybe weapons platforms, but... Navy professionalism might be good. But it makes their supply... Con I don't know. There's probably some stuff we want to do over here. Research points. Hmm. Let's get the uh, let's get empiricism, and then we'll get uh, phenomenalism. And maybe railroads and interchangeable parts next. After that, apparently they want us to do something. Uh, two percent want that. All right, fine. We'll make everybody happy, I guess, by doing stuff that they want. It's fine. An excellent sign. Oh, bull market. Good. Um, sadly, the everyday needs goes up, but we're, since we're probably taxing them so low, it's like, oh, fine. Yeah, we can't even tax to above 50%, which is not an issue, because we don't need to. Sucks, though, that we can't spend more on our military. I'd like to do that. But you know what we're going to do is we're going to lower our tariffs. How about that? Let's lower our tariffs to zero. Actually, let's just bank at zero tariffs. Kaboom! And hopefully that will help our factories on their stuffs. So we can still do Libya, but I don't want Libya because we need this, we need Tripoli, German Tripoli to colonize. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Which is very short, shortly coming along, I'm pretty sure. If we look at the, um, it's like two years, maybe? It might be early as 70. I think it starts in the 80s. The 1880s. Um, uh, it's like machine guns or something. No, breach, bolt action rifles is the one that gives us stormtrooper training, right? Stormtrooper training. Where's our life rating one? I thought there was something over here that gave us life rating, but it's different in the mod. So let's just look here. So breach loader rifles give us ingenious garrisoning, and nationalism and imperialism gives us national the dark continent. Let's see, what do we need for the dark continent? The Dark Continent, we need... The years before 1900 is minus 60%. So we need to invent biologism, military logistics, and steel steamers. And a great power. Has the, Oh. So that will give us a 0% chance. So if we're a great power or a secondary power... What? That makes no sense. Okay, um... So I don't really understand what this means, but I guess we need to have biologism, which I, oh biologism is right here, which is 1870. So we can start doing that soon, and then the uh, the next thing is military logistics, which is also 1870. So we need we're getting these on pat right here. We need to know what we're doing, and then steel steamers, which is. 1880. So we have actually a while till we can start colonizing. But what's the other thing that did it? It was, um... Like, what's our life rating now is... We need ingenious indigenous garrisoning. Which is... Comes from breech-loaded rifles, right? Ah, there. Oh, I thought it was from bolt action. Anyways, what do we need from this? The years before 1880, so that's minus 50. We need machine guns and main armament will help. So, main armament is right here. So, fire control systems is something we need to do. Machine guns is something we need to do eventually, but fire control systems and stuff is what we're going to need to do next. So, forget um, forget the railroads. We're going to work on getting colonization started. So, 
finish up empiricism because that will help because we're going to get more research points which are important of course. <sighs> Otto von Bismarck is doing his best to, uh, to reduce her exhaustion. Or sorry, not our exhaustion, but you know what I mean. So the rich stratum becomes less consciousness or we get 20% reactionary. And we lose six consciousness and the people that start conservative. Hmm. Well, let's get this one. We aren't going to let them be. All right. Kaboom. They're still trying to get us to build army, but I guess, yay, finally we can build something in Europe. Some more artillery. I wonder if this is enough troops. It's probably not, right? I wonder... What's our supply range now? Do we get the, We got the supply range thing. So it's 175 now. This is too far. Oh yeah, so we haven't finished any of our... No. But they're going to be done in the year. Let's start phase 3. My god, how many phases are there in this stuff? <laughs> Let's open all the factories again for our dumb liberals who don't know how to freaking run a factory. Oh my god, come on. Subsidize these bitches. Come on, we're trying to grow our industry here, not freaking ruin it. Excellent crop rotation. Oh, I don't even mind giving subsidies. We're making 10k, god. Stop. Alright, we'll, we'll tax, the, tax the rich at zero. And the middle class at zero. And I don't really want to make that much money every day, because that's like ridiculous. So let's tax the, uh, the poor at how about 25%. No, we need 26. How about that? Wow, 1% is so much. Oh my god, what is your problems? Come on. Boom. Get bigger. Economy. Boom. Go. You're supposed to be better, or, you know, better to grow as liberal, so I don't want to hear it. I wish we could get all of our people to vote. Whatever. It's not the end of the world. Our boats are going pretty fast, and how's our army being built? Oh god, there's so many. So many things to be building. How is this army doing? I was hoping that they wouldn't be taking so much attrition, but... Whatever, you can't get everything you want, I guess. Let's move these troops, because they're not going to be really good at fighting Chinese, because they're going to be probably like the same units. But whatever. I think we should be fine fighting Queen again if we want, if we so deem to be that the next to be the uh, thing. Let's do Whistletop Tour. Might as well. And uh, open all these guys, yeah. I wonder why we haven't got anything from Egypt yet. From efficiency, or this isn't wise. Now let's do, yeah, intensive strategy. Yeah, let's go. Huzzah! The Suez Canal is complete. We got 300 research points. Oh, nice. So look at that. Is the Suez Canal there? Oh, it is. Yay! Let's expand our Navy bases here. And the forts. 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 Good. How close are we to getting this into a thing? That's 8.4%, so we're almost there. And what's down here? How's these guys still doing their forts? And the navy bases. Let's look at our navy bases here. They're still under construction over here. Under construction there. Under I don't see any green, right? Alright, so we can't even check. So it looks like everybody's under construction. Yeah, everything's still being constructed. Alright, go. At least something's happening, you know? Kaboom! Yay, nitroglycerin. Whatever. Open up our stupid factories for the dumb liberals. Maybe we should just let it go, honestly. I don't even know what to do. We no rebels, thank god. Huzzah! So yeah, I don't know how good this army is, would do against a legit army, you know? Why are there so many freaking hussars? <laughs> I don't understand. I think that might be a glitch in this mod, is that it's like, oh, you can build as many hussars as you want. Greetings from Suez. Uh... Erects a bronze bust of, of a waghorn overlooking on the bases inscribed with the words in homage to the memory of the generous, though unfortunate man who alone without any help by a long series of labors and heroic events practically demonstrated and determined the adoption of the posture of the postal route through Egypt and communication between the east and west of the world. Who came up with this? Okay. That's cool. I guess. 
Send this guy here. All right, no, fine. You know what? You guys can go wherever the hell you want. We're still building more. Eh, we'll wait for the Navy to finish before we try to fit and squeeze any more into our for our limit. So it doesn't really look like these units are being used very much. Let's build railroads in their things. Can we build railroads down here? I don't think we can build railroads anymore. I don't think it allows us. Yeah, our economic policy does not allow us to build railroads. However, we can expand our forts. So let's keep on doing that. Especially on the border with Hungary, because you never know when they're going to turn code on us. Alright, let's go around and increase the relations again, since we have the points to do so. Why will they not accept? Oh, because we have too many. Oh, because we own core provinces. Interesting. Nope. And is is France the same same way? Oh well, they hate us. So why do they hate us? We're neighbors of peace. They should be getting it up with us. Haha, <laughs> getting it up. <laughs> All right. Well, let's increase relations here with the UK. See if they'll take an alliance. I mean, they've got a pretty, good, but they might be stupid, and because I've never seen them land troops, which is kind of stupid. But uh, I don't know. We'll see in the future here. Russia is still secondary power, so they might actually want us later on down the line once we get an alliance. You know, or be nice, nice, play nice, nice with them. But their units suck, so I don't even really know how much they would be of an assistance, anyways. We're gonna open up all these factories once again, and. That is going to be the... Oh, we can actually do stuff. Alright, so... Uh, lavish expo ex Exposition? Sure. And uh, what's the other thing? National Conference, where we lose some prestige, but we gain research points. So yes, we just gained a bunch of points, so it's fine. Alright, good. So I feel good. I think we did a bunch of good stuff today. Alright. So yeah, oh, Ireland. What's happening? Shouldn't it say occupied by control of the... Oh, wow, the UK is actually invading them, finally. I guess they do know how to use their boats. Okay, so that's just like a little bit scarier. It's not as scary now that we understand that they actually did it. Kind of sucks, though, because I, I like Ireland being here. Too bad. One day, though, let's check the ledger just before we go to see uh, how many uh, stuff they got. All right, so military score. Clearly, the UK is a little bit high. Queen, we're above them now. Um, ships? Yeah, let's look at ships. That's what I was wondering as well. UK has 315. Germany has... we have 82. So yeah, they still way, 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 way have too many ships. We're gonna need to get a lot more ships if we're gonna want to be fighting them anytime soon. But I think these uh, these guys down here on the edges, not Liberia, but um, like all these Gabu... Um, Ashanti, not Ashanti, but uh, Oyo, Dahoney, Wari. These guys over here, they might be good ideas to attack, not Spain, uh, but Congo. Good places that we could get a little foot in here. Even uh, down, down here, uh, Zanzibar might be a good idea because we could cut off Portugal and, and, uh, and British just right across here. Then go up, cut off Spain. Yeah, that's actually sounding very attractive. I don't like how the UK has like little just bases everywhere. It's kind of annoying. Oh well. Uh, yeah, so we'll cut off Spain that way, and then we'll cut off all these guys somehow, maybe by taking over. Can we take over the Tenkalor Empire in one go, or is that going to be multi probably multiple? Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, like I said, we'll see you next time. And uh, let me know what you guys want. Do you want me to go and take over the rest of China's coastline, or do you think we should use the rest of the time before we can actually start colonizing Africa to completely secure it by taking over some of their, you know, little, like, Portugal's uh, things over here and stuff like that. I don't know. You guys let me know and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Spray and pray out.